Hi there. Welcome. Happy day after Christmas. Hope that you have all enjoyed all your festivities and have rested up a little bit today. I had all these grand expectations of things I was going to organize and clean and do. I didn't. I kind of curled up this afternoon and watched a movie and drank coffee from my new mug and I have this amazing, I'll show it to you sometime, <laughs> this blanket sweater, I'm not quite sure what it is, hey Susan, but it's super warm and cuddly, almost too warm for today, but I know there will be days when it will be perfect, so I just kind of kind of hung out. I, I really didn't do all the things I wanted to do today, <laughs> but that's okay because I've had so many on my to-do list. It was nice. Hey, Penny. Hello, hello. So I thought it would be really fun to do a card that I, I did probably a month ago and we had all kinds of issues. And it's not the kind of card that you want to have techie issues with. You want it to stay neat and clean and so that you can understand it and Anywho, it's the one with a twist. So I'll put all the information up. It'll still be in the Lucy class. When you go to caramiller.com, click on classroom, and you will see there's still, because it's still 2018. So do that, and we will get started. I did. I had an incredible Christmas. It was really, really wonderful. Two days of of kids and family and I, I, I wanted to say presents but you know what the presents weren't even the important thing the important thing was just that we were all in one place and everyone was happy and fun and it was great so yes thank you <clears throat> had a wonderful few days it kind of went on and on and on <laughs> but it was it was awesome so yes, please share this video. You should see it down at the bottom. And tell your friends about what we do on Mondays and Thursdays. And yeah, I know it's Wednesday. Some days we pop in extra. You'll notice today, just before I get too started, and I don't really have a lot to share with you tonight because I have so much coming up this week that I want to share with you. But tonight, if you go to caramiller.com and click on the blog, um, it's right at the top, you'll see it. It says, make sure that you're on the mailing list. And I know that you're probably on a ton of mailing lists and thinking, I do not need to be on another one. I'll tell you why. And it lists in there what, what you're going to get from me. But it makes sure that you don't miss something because Facebook is so busy and there's so much stuff that if you don't happen to log in at the time that I post something, you may not even see it in your feed. So... Anywho, make sure that you're, you go to Kara Miller, click on the blog. That's really the only thing you need to do, and share this video. So that's all the work that you have for tonight. The rest of it is hang out. I'm going to have all the information there for you on the blog. It'll also be in Lucy. Okay, so yes, Buffalo Check. Buffalo Check is one of my favorite stamp sets, and we haven't used it enough. It is staying with us. It is not going away with the addition of the new catalog. This was in the holiday catalog, but it's going to stay because we just love it. So Buffalo Check and another one that's going to stay, but it's not staying as a bundle, is Winter Woods. So if you like this one as the bundle, you're going to want to get it. Now you can still get it in the new catalog, but it won't be as the bundle, which is a 10% less price. You'll have to buy the stamp set separate and the thinlets. So it's both and they'll both be there but just so that you know and this one is so amazing and I know I said tonight was a not Christmas card. It's not. It's winter but it's not Christmas and we're not even using Christmas colors. Okay so those are the two stamp sets we're using and honestly you don't have to use Buffalo Check. You could use a designer series paper I just think this is so cool. Any excuse to use it. Okay, the other thing I'm using tonight is my Stamparatus, and I'm going to show you a technique with it. So there's a bunch of different things going on in this thing tonight. Um, I am using, because this is my one of my faves and it has my favorite colors, the Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series Paper. 
and you tend to look at it and think, oh, it's for babies, because it sounds twinkle, twinkle. It sounds like kids, but it's really not. It's got some great colors in it. These are the stamp sets that I'm using. Can you tell why I like it? It's the Subtles. Um, pool Party sea fo Soft Sea Foam, Petal Pink, and then Night of Navy. This is my nemesis. This was the first stamp pad, not this particular one, but Night of Navy that I tried to use when I was doing my first live video with Stampin' Up, and I covered myself, the table, everybody in Night of Navy. So it's I'm always a little leery when I bring it out, so it may not even hit the, hit the card tonight. So these are the ones, right? I am going to go with this gray with the stars. This is Smoky Slate, and I love it nice and subtle and then it also has an eight and a half by eleven cardstock pack so that you know this is the reason Stampin Up just has my heart I do not have to match anything the color families the papers everything goes together and I am a matchy matchy girl so this just makes my life so much easier I don't have to look at the pink and go eh, is it the same is it I don't know I can know that it's gonna tell me what the colors are and that the colors are gonna go. So that was, that's one of my I love Stampin' Up! because reasons. Okay, so I'm gonna put these aside for a minute and we're gonna do some cutting. The one, it's not even an issue, but the one thing about this card is it does take some cutting. So this is the sketch and I will put it in the, in the, um, in the classroom for you with the additions and I will also have it on the blog. This is what we used the first time we did it. We're going to do it a little bit differently tonight. So we're going to do the card base 11 by 4 and a quarter and I'm going to use the 12 by 12. So 4 and a quarter. By 11, which means I have to cut off 1 inch. Remember, our trimmer also has, because you're looking at the trimmer, you're saying, well, but it ends at six. Remember, it also has this cute little extendo arm out here, like gadget. Trish, hi, Susan, hello. Yeah, Susan, wasn't it great? Hey, Debbie. Okay, so there's 11 by four and a quarter, check. And then it tells me to score. I'm gonna do this other, I'm gonna cut first, score later. Card base eight and a half by five and three eighths. Okay, so five and three eighths right there. You're caught on something. Has anyone noticed my jewelry? Grace made, Grace is my three year old granddaughter. I, I talk about her so much, I assume everyone knows who she is. Um, Grace made the entire family friendship bracelets. Uh, there are 10 aunts and uncles, four grandparents, and a great Grammy. So that's a lot of friendship bracelets. And this little three-year-old, along with her mom, made everybody friendship bracelets. And they were all customized for the person. So she knows that the, I love this color, so that's why I got that one. Jeannie, it was. We had a wonderful Christmas. Um, five and three eighths by eight and a half. So I'm going to pull out my little go go gadget arm here. And eight and a half. Okay, so there's that. I know. I, I thought she was adorable, Kathy. <laughs> and then, apparently, she's thinking about mortality lately. I don't know why she's three. But she decided that my mom, who's 86, needed a friendship bracelet. So when she goes to heaven, and we all started started crying, uh, Nana's not going anywhere, not today or tomorrow. But when she goes to heaven, she'll remember her. And then she turned around and said, oh, she won't forget me. It's okay. So, whew, that was a tough one. Um, okay, so these are my card bases. Card base one, card base two. She's something. And then I also need, these are the additions that are not on this paper because we're gonna do it a little bit different. This is the way we did it the first time is on this sketch, which I realized you haven't been able to see. 
um, but we're not doing that sketch this time completely. We're sort of. So now let's move these guys over. We need one three and a half by four and three quarters. Okay. And I am going to do that out of the pool party. So four and three quarters. by three and a half. Okay, so there's that one. And then I'm gonna do Whisper White, and this one needs two that are five Kathy, I saw the pictures that the prince was in the area. That's awesome. Three and three quarters. How special. And I need two of these. I guess this whole Grammy thing is the best thing ever, right? Okay. So I need one. That's three and a half by four and three quarters, so it's a little smaller. And then I need two that are three and three quarters by five. All right, we're gonna do a little more with them, but that's the major cutting for now, so we can set this aside. All right, we just need to score the big pieces, our card backs, so let's pop that up. And it seems like I'm using a lot of tools I want you to tell me in the comments below um, what you think of all the Stampin' Up! tools. What's the number one that you can't do without? What's the most important tool that you think it is something somebody just starting out should, should purchase? Which one would you say? Okay. And I'll read those after, and then we'll, I have a, a giveaway for some of you, and we'll tell you what that is later. I'll post it on the blog, because I really want you to read it. Um, 11 by 4 and a quarter. On the 11 side, I'm going to score at 2 and 3 fourths. 2 and 3 fourths. And 8 and a quarter. Just a little, a little side while we're doing this. Yeah, Susan, right? Um... When you're using this, the Simply Scored tool, you'll notice there's two ends. There's probably some really critical scientific, yeah. I use the bigger end when I'm using a heavier weight paper, and I use the thinner end on the Designer Series paper with a lighter hand. Now, I, you could argue either way. You could argue either way. I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, no, you're wrong. For me, that works the best, but I have to be really careful. If I use a heavy hand when I'm scoring, I'll poke a hole right through. And then on this one, I'm gonna score at two and an eighth, two and an eighth, and six and three eighths. And as you're talking about your trimmer, as I'm hearing, seeing that as the most popular, um, you can score with that too. So you don't need both. It's easier for me to show you on here. And I'm gonna fold you in and use my bone folder. Which again, I thought was kind of a, eh, I don't really need that. I use it a lot, I really do need it. It really does make your folds much better. It's not the number one thing you need to get, but it is really helpful. So trimmer is it. When do you think you need a big shot? Yeah, I do too, Gloria. I like both of them. When do you need your big shot? Is that like a graduation and you move up to that? Or is that something that you need right at the beginning? Now, I want to go this way. I want you right here in the middle, and you'll notice there's a little bit of excess. It's gonna go like this. 
All right, and I'm gonna glue those and then make sure that we fold in right. I feel like I didn't do this right because they're not folding nicely. Okay, you're folding nicely. Right, a good adhesive. Oh, that's a really good one, Penny. So I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to use, speaking of adhesive, I'm going to use my snail. Now, when we did this before, I used the liquid adhesive so I could kind of move it, move it, move it around a little. You got to be really confident when you're doing this because when you're using the snail, once you put it down, you're putting it down. So make sure you're in the right place. I'm going to live life dangerously and go for it. Dolly, that's a really good point. That you need a big shot or you'll be disappointed at what you can't do. Yep, that's absolutely true. And I really don't think I'm I scored perfectly well on these, but you know what? I don't want to have to redo it, so we're going to we're going to make it work. Yeah. <laughs> So stamping is something to conquer. How many of you wish that you started out with your Stamparatus? I know many of you, or at least the ones that started with me, we didn't know about a Stamparatus, so we didn't know. But, and the reason I'm having this tool conversation is because I have several friends that want to join Stampin' Up! on my team in January, because, oh, do they have a deal for people signing up? And one of the questions they always ask is, well, what tools do I need? And there's a lot of options. Right, Trish. It is, it is expensive. The promotion that Stampin' Up! has in January actually would allow you to, to add the Big Shot to your kit because you can, for $99, you can get $175 worth of product. You pick out $175 of whatever you want out of the catalog, the regular annual catalog and the occasions catalog, and you get that for $99 free shipping. I know. So a lot of people have been contacting me saying, I wanna do that, and I said, wait till January. And in January, you, but then it's such a big decision because if you put the big shot in, that takes up most of your, I mean, that's 110, so it's huge. But yes, and then the Stamparatus, I wish I had the Stamparatus when I started out because I was not a good stamper. Not like I'm good now, but I was a terrible stamper when I started, and I, I messed up a lot. Okay, so the base is ready as I babbled through it. Right, Dolly? It's such a cool, cool opportunity. It really is amazing. And Dolly is in is on my team. So Dolly, if somebody comes in, joins you, so is Trish. Um, if joins you, I think Robin's here too. Um, they're on my team too. And I will help them. So you don't even have to worry that, oh, I'm not ready for a team. I'm not ready to help people. That's okay. You don't have to. So there's the base of our card. I'm going to move that aside. Now remember, we have these three, okay? All right, so this one is the smaller of the two. I'm gonna put this aside. This one is going to go on the inside. It's gonna go right here. So I'm gonna put that aside for right now. This is getting buffalo checked. So I'm gonna use the Stamparatus for that. This is one of the tools that the Stamparatus is really good for. And you're wondering, what well, you've got a lot of things going on here, lady. What is happening? First of all, I need to turn you around this way. The beauty of the Stamparatus is you have four different sides. You can have lots of things going at the same time. So here's my buffalo check, right? And it's gonna go on this white, and I, I'm using, this is in the accessories for the Stamparatus. It has this pad full of um, grid paper that coordinates and fits right in here perfect. Because I'm using the red rubber, I don't need the little foam piece that comes with your Big Shot, or your um, Stamparatus, I don't need it. I need this if I'm stamping with the clear stamps, the clear photopolymer ones. All right, so, 
this is going to go here but you'll notice that the stamp is bigger than the piece of paper so that's why I've got the grid stuff down so I don't make a mess of my of my stamparatus and I am going to go with the soft sea foam Trish that's so true yep the quality and I'll, I'll, I'll say it out loud in case you're not reading Trisha's comment. The quality and combination of paper, ink, and stamps make a big difference. Yes, that is so true. I really was a horrible stamper. And it's because I was using whatever I found, anywhere I found it. Didn't know that there was quality in stamps that made a difference, didn't know that paper made a difference, or the ink, I didn't. I just, I thought they were all the same. It is not true, they are not all the same. All right, so all over with this ink pad, and then I'm gonna bring it over and just press it down. Ignore that the stamp is sitting here wait, waiting because it's ready for the next layer. And just push it all down nice and easy. Make sure you get nice, even pressure and then lift it up. Oh, see, I didn't get it right there. If I was just using a block, I'd be stuck. But because I'm using a Stamparatus, I can come back and do it again. Oh, a little bit more over here, and I'm good to go. This is gonna come off and dry right over here, and then I'm gonna turn you around and I'm actually gonna take this off so I don't get my hand in it. I used to think that the dollar stamps that I could pick up at the end cap at Joann's or Michael's, that they'd be all right. Yep, nope, they're not. They're just not. Okay, so there's that one. Now I need this one. And this one's gonna go right there. And I'm gonna use my magnet to kind of hold it in place for a minute. And because I am a creature of habit, I have to turn this around this way because I just can't do it the other way. I don't know why, but I can't. So this is from this stamp set. This is from the Winter Woods, and it's these three birch trees. Okay, and we are using Pool Party. I am gonna do color on color. We're gonna do Pool Party on Pool Party for the second layer. The first layer, we are gonna use, again, our soft green, uh, soft sea foam but it's gonna look different because it's gonna come out on the pool party. So ink it up, bring it over. Now I set these placements up before. See how cool that looks? Okay, wait till you see what happens now. Ink it up, and then I'm gonna pick it up, lift this out, and move it down one. See, these were lined up here, I move it down one, Ink it up. Lift and down one. And I'm gonna go all the way down the paper like this. I wanna move this over so this isn't in my way. Ink and move. And when I first started stamping up, I, I thought that I didn't want to tell anybody about it. And I didn't really want to like build a team or anything. I thought that that was like, I'm making people do it. And then I realized that I have the coolest product in the whole wide world. Why would I not share the discount with others? And so I started sharing it. And that's how some of my friends now do this with me. So I went all the way down, right? Okay. I'm done with this. I'm done with this plate. I'm going to move it over here so it doesn't get in our way and we don't forget. Is that not cool? Okay. This one, I feel like I've moved it. I'm going to double check. I want to make sure that these trees are lining up vertical. And they are. Okay. So like so. I'm going to lay it down to position it where I want it. Pick it up. And then I'm gonna ink this up, only this time I'm gonna use Pool Party. And 
And now none of these are dark colors, but they look really cool. Ink this up nice with the pool party. Bring it over. And there's our trees. Okay, and now we're ready to do, I'm gonna do one more thing. This is the inside piece, and I want a little bit of the tree, but I don't want all of those trees. So see, that's gonna come out in the end. I'm gonna slide this down. I want just a few trees on this end, okay? And I don't want them dark. So I've just stamped once, I'm gonna stamp again. And I'm just getting a subtle bit of the tree, okay? All right, Stamparatus can now move over. We're done with that. And now I'm gonna put this down. This is gonna go inside my card. Oh, before I do that, if I wanted, I can always do my edging. Debbie's not here. Every time I do this, this is a Debbie, Debbie trick. Debbie told me this when I was, honestly, guys, when I started stamping, almost my two-year anniversary, I was such a newbie. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> you all taught me so many tricks. I knew the basics, but that was it. But Stampin' Up! is amazing. Teaches you so much, and you really don't have to be a genius at this. It's one of those really satisfying craft projects that actually look really cool. And you don't have to be super colossal to do it. Okay? So now, this is going to sit in here. And I'm going to close this up. And I start over here. And then this one. This one. And then bring this down and tuck. Alright, I did it wrong. This one, this one, this one. Bring it down and tuck. Okay? Okay? All right, so that's going to sit like that for a minute. Well, I could do the basics, but I didn't know any of the cool stuff. You guys taught me all the cool stuff. Okay, so I have this one and this one. All right? Now I'm going to do some fancy cutting. What do you see what this is going to do? I'm going to bring my trimmer back. All right, and now this needs to be cut, this is five, this needs to be cut at two and a half. By one and seven eighths. One, two, and one and seven eighths. Okay. So we have those four. Let's move these over right here. And then this one is going to be two and three eighths. My trimmer is really tired. And I didn't order trimmer blades yet. One and three quarters. I it got a workout over the holidays. I bet yours did too. Don't forget to get your new blades. Two and three eighths. Uh, two, one and three quarters. And I have all these measurements for you. You don't have to remember what I just told you. Okay. Now, and this would sit right in the middle, but I want to bring these in tight to the edge. So I'm going to do this one first. And line that right up nice and tight. And then this one goes here, so I want to go to the inside. And you could do this with other stamp sets too. I just really like this tree. Any colors doesn't have to be my my subtle colors. I like the subtles. 
This is a bottom, so it's going to go right here. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together. You have to think about which way it's going to go. And then this one goes right here. All right. So there it is, ready to go back together. Now bring you over, and this time I'm going to use some dimensionals. Flip you over, right? This card is so cool anyway, the design of it, but now adding this extra little Now, what you could do if you didn't want, well, let's put this together, and then I'll show you some other options. And this is going to go, and instead of centering it, I'm going to kind of put it so it's closer to the middle. This also looks really, really great in the wood, um, the 6x6 six six wood paper designer series paper. I can't think of its name right now. It's all different kinds of, of wood grain. Maybe it's called wood grain. I don't think it is. Come on, one more. And you're going to go right here. And then you, see, we're building, building a forest here. I'll just go with two. We'll be here all you're gonna go here now you could have done this in more dramatic colors it looks really cool in all white can't what <laughs> something weird with that one and black and whites and grays looks really great Okay, so there is our card, right? And now the dashing deer could easily go right on the front. Oh, he's sitting over here waiting. Look, he could go right there. He's a little big. I'd have to use one of the smaller ones, but he could. Thank you, Shelly. Shelly Lee, wood textures. Thank you. I never remembered the name. That would look really cool. Hey, Patty. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my stamp set. And this has the thinking of you this season. I really only want the thinking of you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off what I don't want. Right? So I need a piece of Whisper White. And I need a block. And I need some soft sea foam. Where's my hand cumin? I don't know if this fits, but I'm going to try. I'm going to grab my basic label. I love this label punch. Let's see if it fits. Oh, looky there. It does. Thinking of you. And that is going to go right here. Right? There. All right, so super different. Yes, you could add way more to it. You could definitely foof this up a lot. And then to open the card, and you're gonna put your greeting and your message in here. 
not Christmas, something totally different. And then I'm gonna take my envelope. Hey Jeanette, how are you? Welcome. And I'm gonna take my, my medium envelope and I'm gonna do the same kind of trees that we did on this on my envelope. So the good news is I'm gonna just grab back my Stamparatus that's sitting over here waiting for me. My stamp is still right there. I need to figure out where it's gonna go. I want it right in the middle, like so. And I use the pool party, so we'll grab some of that. Ta-da! And now we have, I don't want to put you down because you'll get ink all over everything. And now we have our envelope ready to go. One, two, three, four, slide you in, whoops, that's because I only put two dimensionals on you, slide you in, and this fits in a regular envelope, I would put two, I would put the 71 cent stamp on it, unless it's going up, I'd be going up in January, I need to look. Um, because it's, it's kind of thick and you want to make sure that it gets there after all your hard work. Okay. All right. So I want to show you one quick way to do the top. That's not so involved. Let me just show you. You'd still do the base the way we did it. The two pieces glued in the middle, right? But on the top, these are your sizes, and I again, I will have this added for you so it's really easy to see. The bottom one, you're only going to see the edges. The top, you're going to see more detail. So, what we're going to take, and I'm going to use the same designer series paper and my trimmer. And this is the top, so I need to cut this three and a half by four and three quarters. Four and three quarters by three and a half. And then the next one down, I'm gonna use my petal pink and that's gonna be five and remember, I need two of these. Five by three and three quarters. Let's cut another one. And then this one needs to be cut into two and a half. I'm not stamping it or anything, so I don't need to worry about that. Two and a half by one and seven eighths. And then this little baby needs to be cut into two and three eighths. By one and three quarters. Okay, so now I'm going to do kind of a puzzle thing. Here's my bases, and then I can do things like flip you over, and then I'm ready to add a sentiment on the cover. So simple, right? Designer Series Paper makes this so easy. And then, let's just, so that we can actually see how this works, let's grab 
some Whisper White. So we're not getting carried away with lots of colors. We're just using designer series paper and petal pink. And we're going to do a card base by four and a quarter, 11 by four and a quarter. This is already 11. So if you use the eight and a half by 11, there's that one. And then this one is five and three eighths. I uh, don't have it long enough, do I? No, I've got to use another piece. Sorry, I was using 12 by 12s before. Then this one is going to be eight and a half by five and three eighths. So it seems really complicated, but it's really not. And then you're going to grab your little score dual doodle thing and whoops, turn it around. On the eight and a half side, I'm going to score it two and an eighth and six and three eighths. Two and an eight. Six and three eighths. And this one is two and three quarters. and eight and a quarter. All right, super easy. Let's score this little baby and get it assembled. Well, we scored, now we're just folding. So you can get as complicated with your your cover as you want or as simple as you want. Designer Series Paper makes this super easy. Do I want you there? Do I want you here? I never remember which way I want you. I want you like this. The little one on the inside, okay? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, little one on the inside. Goodness. When it's white, it's hard to tell. Line you up. Okay, now you can't really tell that it's all apart, right? Do do. You have to come in first. I didn't line you up right. See it? I knew. That's the beauty of using this glue. I could have moved it if I hadn't used the um, snail. We'll live with it, we're okay. I'm gonna make it work. I wish I could slide you down a little, but I can't, but that's okay. So I wanna start with you. Trust me, I'm gonna to have to make this work, ladies, so just stay with me for a second while I argue with it. Because I didn't glue it down right. But we can make it. You're good. You're close, but not no cigars. Right, don't anybody look close. It's okay. All right, so one, two, three, and four. Okay. Phew. And now. My cute little pieces are going to go on top. Right? Is that not adorable? Oh, and I forgot the inside. You go on the inside. Right? And super easy. I haven't even stamped yet. Just a bunch of, of, of cutting. And you can, again, make this as difficult as you want or as easy as you want. Pop you right in there. Okay, so that's the quarter fold card, but really so many options with this. Don't be stuck on just one thing because that's what I showed you the first time, all right? So you can get really excited. And 
I will tell you that this is thick whisper white. It actually works better with the thin whisper white because it's a little, it's not so thick. <laughs> Funny, they name it that way. The regular whisper white works better for this folding. Doo -doo. So you have that option or this option. Okay? All right, so I will go through the responses in the comments on here. I will pick some winners. We'll post them uh, tomorrow morning. If I don't do it tonight, I might do it tonight. And depends on how tired I am. I thought I wasn't tired today, but I was. Being Mimi has just really done me in. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. And I will see you tomorrow night with another not Christmas card. It'll be a not Christmas box tomorrow night. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye.